Thank you students. Let us see the next part of this lesson today. And this is Ravi Shankar, your physics teacher. Today we are going to study about the superposition principle. What do you mean by this? Superposition principle. See, already we have studied about the Coulomb's law. In Coulomb's law, we have stated the force between two point charges. If you are having two point charges, one as Q1 and another one as Q2, separated by a distance R or otherwise written as R12, we can either calculate F12 vector R F21 vector. For this, in order to study about this, we have started about the Coulomb's law. We have stated about the Coulomb's law. Today, we are going to get force on a point charge. Force on a point charge due to due to more number of charges or due to multiple charges. If more amount of forces are acting on a single charge, what is the net force? So in order to calculate the net force on a point charge due to multiple charges is given by the principle called to be superposition principle. In order to explain this, I am taking a small diagram. I am having a charge Q1 here. More number of charges like Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, etc. up to Qn are available. The distance between Q2 to Q1, you consider this distance as R21. Q3 to Q1, you consider this as R31. Q4 to Q1, you consider it as R41. If you are considering Qn to Q1, take it out as Rn1. So, if Q2 is experiencing a force on Q1, then the forces along the line joining and the forces considered to be F12 vector. Similarly, here you are getting the another force due to this charge Q3, which we are saying it as F13 vector. Like this, we are having so many number that is due to, you can write, due to Q2 on Q1, you are having a force called to be F12 vector. Similarly, this next one, due to Q3 on Q1, you will be getting a force called to be F13 vector. Right, due to Q4 on Q1, you will be getting a force called to be F14 vector. Like this it is going on. So, due to Qn on Q1, the force available is F1n vector. So, I can state all these forces are acting on Q1. So, what is the net force that is available. What is the net force that is available? So I am calculating the net force on Q1 is equal to net force on Q1 is what? It is given by the definition. Net force on Q1 is let us take it out as F1 vector which is equal to the vector sum of vector sum of individual forces 
individual forces. What do you mean by this? So I can write F1 vector is equal to See what are the other forces that I am having? One is F12, another one is F13, another one is F14 going on till F1n. So I can write here as F1 vector is equal to F12 vector plus F13 vector plus F14 vector plus etc. up to F1n vector. So what is the definition? According to the definition, F1 vector is the vector sum of individual forces. That vector sum of individual forces, I have written it here in mathematical form. Now, what is the value of F12? F12 vector, you know that the constant K into Q1 into Q2 divided by R21 square into R21 cap. Similarly, what is F13 vector? F13 vector is equal to constant K into Q1 into Q3 divided by R31 square into R31 cap. Similarly, what is F14 vector? F14 vector equal to constant K into Q1 into Q3 divided by R41 square into R41 cap and so on and so on. See finally, what is the Igma value? Finally, you can state F1n vector is equal to K into Q1 into Qn divided by R n1 square multiplied it with R n1 cap. If that is the case, then you can consider how you substitute the values in this F1 vector. So I can state therefore F1 vector is equal to instead of this F12, you write this K into Q1 into Q2 by R21 square into R21 cap plus vector sum K into Q1 into Q3 divided by R31 square into R31 cap plus K into Q1 into Q4 divided by R41 square into R41 cap plus etc. And finally, you can write K into Q1 into Qn by R N1 square into R N1 cap. Still, I can simplify F1 vector is equal to take K as a common one. So, I can write Q1, Q2 by R21 square into R21 cap plus Q1 into Q3 by R31 square into R31 cap plus Q1 into Q4 by R41 square into R41 cap plus etc. up to Q1 into Qn divided by R n1 square into R n1 cap. This is called to be the principle of superposition. So from this principle of superposition, what is the conclusion arrived? You can write the conclusion like this. So the total force, total R, I can state net force on a point charge is equal to net force on a point charge is equal to the vector sum of is equal to the vector sum of the individual forces vector sum of the individual forces acting on it.
acting on it and two mark question or a three mark question that you can expect it in your public exam clear so using this we can able to determine what using this we can able to determine the value of the total force or the net force acting on a charge